So yeah, we underestimated the temperature a little bit. It is very cold. Well, <laughs> defined very cold. Two friends, 10 days, living out of one car. Are you ready for the road trip? We are ready for the road trip. Portugal, we are coming. I mean, we're already we're here. We're here, but, but we're also coming. <laughs> <laughs> First up was Al Jazur, a notoriously gorgeous and lush landscape. When it came to sleep, we had two quite impressive hammock setups that made us look like seasoned professionals. And we pretty much cooked whatever we wanted to. We built a pit, lit a fire, and there you go. It was not the most convenient option and required preparation and attention. But after all, this trip was largely about living simple and attentional. You know, it's this weird mixture of comfort and un discomfort. Next up was Mongshik. This hilly area featured even more sights to contemplate and had to see the entire Algarve from a bird's perspective. For camping, we went down to a nearby river where we cooked some great food and had a beautiful view over the entire valley. The hammocks went up in a eucalyptus forest, a true aroma therapy. Unfortunately, the weather got a little sour from that point on. How about some pasta, sir? With a high risk of rain. What is the problem? It's just rain. This is our aglio and olio, finest spaghetti of the land. Looks good. So we're just in this forest. It's so scary, something straight out of a horror movie. It's pretty spooky, if you ask me. Welcome to Cribs. We're here in the forest. Well, yeah, here in Wald. Haven't seen ein Schokolade Milch? <laughs> Villa Nova de Milfontes offered a really nice beach strip with astonishing caves and rock formations. We checked out a local cafe with amazing food options and after balling out on some proper nutrition, we only had one goal in our minds left. So James, what's the mission? We are going to take Will Smith's Wild Wild West poster down for our own intents and purposes. Where are we? In the wild, wild west, baby. We're in the clouds, in the snow, perfectly dressed. We're at the glaciers, man. What's up? Well, it's time for a shower. The coldest I've ever been in. I, I was feeling like I'm about to faint in there. We upgraded our kitchen here. Look at that. So James, just for the protocol, we're here at this abandoned camping spot and you decided to clean... I want to clean the sinks. Look, uh, this is the least dirty one, but look, look, at, the, look at the grime and soot on that. Right? If we can just clean all the sinks, it'd be a lot nicer, wouldn't it be? Huh. Coimbra is a gorgeous student city with a long history. It features beautiful architecture and a palace on top of its hill that now serves as its university. 
and being from 1290, it is the sixth oldest university in the world. Here we met up with Connor, an old friend of James, who toured us around in a great fashion. Considering everything, it is probably one of the prettiest cities I've ever been to. A definite recommendation. So we are here at Nazare, the place with the biggest waves in the world. They get up to 30 meters high and there are no waves. No waves. It was still pretty cool to check out an exhibition about all the surfers who daringly rode the waves of Nazare, as well as to understand that the wave's height comes from an underwater canyon in front of the bay. With its deepest point being 5,000 meters, it funnels the current and dramatically amplifies the waves that hit the shore. Next up was Sintra, and to our liking, we stumbled upon a psytrance party in an old Zen monastery. who just turned 27 I just did Woo! <laughs> so James we are about to enter a Michelin starred restaurant Solar Dos Nunes is a heavily acclaimed restaurant in Lisbon and by far the best restaurant me and James have ever been to and with incredibly fair prices it is a place that you have to visit whenever you check out Lisbon, Portugal. Hey, happy birthday, big boy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful little cheesecake to celebrate the year. Yes. The last subjective is to bring this bicycle into the plane. Our box. So this is the end of the trip. For me, not only the road trip, but also the end of a five month period of living in Portugal. I truly fell in love with this country and a lot of people that seek out to live here. For now, I have to go back to Germany, but I know and hope that I'll be back. Big shout out to James for managing such an awful lot when it came to the entirety of the time we spent together. I hope to see you again soon, buddy. Stay well. I love you.